you ever race any cars with this? A 5.0 Mustang. Oh yeah? He was looking down at me and laughing. Oh no. I kind of left him in the dust. You, you, you got him? You show him what's up? He wasn't happy afterwards. <laughs> there shouldn't be any room for people looking down on other people's cars or whatever sure. it is. All right, if you have a video of that, we're gonna, pl we're gonna plug that here. Oh, I definitely just, do have a video Oh, there we go. For sure. Just to give, just to give you some justice. Yo, what's up, Brazil? What's up, man? How you doing, How you doing? man? Thanks for coming out to the uh, TRC Invitational. Appreciate it. Appreciate the invitation. So what do, what do we got here behind us? Uh, this is my 2001 Honda Prelude. Kind of modified. Kind of put some uh, juice in her. That's awesome, dude. You never see these things in yeah. this condition. This is like, well, honestly, this is one of my favorite Hondas. And they're so rare to see. So I was so happy you made it out here to, so we could feature this because we've been wanting to feature a really clean Prelude for, for a really long time. They're and buy, they're hard man. to come by, they, you know? They are. I heard there's quite a story with you in this car. Yeah, um, I've had this car for about 13 years, 14 years. Uh, I got it when I was like 17 years old. Second owner, went through some mishaps, lost her. My dad took over her for the remainder of the years. My dad passed away in 2016 and left it for me. And I made her what she is now because of him. So, yeah. Nice, so that's man. the original motor of the vehicle. We just fully built her sleeves pistons cams cam gears springs retainers put a 6262 turbo on her that's made awesome. her really nice oh yeah man it's really clean thank you i'm gonna get around this way here she has a b16 transmission yeah. precision turbo you said b16 b16 transmission there's only one of five um in the united states the rest of them ever made because they do make the h2b trans uh transmission conversion kit for other bodies but for the prelude itself um it was a test run they made five and uh it was too much money to to make compared to what they can uh, profit on so they they discontinued it and i was able to get my hands on it it took a lot of digging but we finally got it it, it is a custom kit so it's a lot of trial and error with the axles and the shift linkage and all that. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, yeah. Super clean, man. And I'm going to pop around yeah, here. Sure we got the T's. Yes, sir. Oof. Oof, man, that just, it, it really pops with that blue color. It does, it does. It makes it look really nice. They are staggered. Unfortunately, I got them uh, <laughs> staggered, so I had to put spacers so it didn't like look too off on sure. it. I put the wider on the front, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Archer and I'm just going to step back here because this car is just, when it comes to preludes, this car is perfection, man. This car is mint, man. Really clean condition. So the interior is the original Honda uh, Prelude Type S interior from Japan. Got it shipped over here. It was kind of hard to find it in great condition how it is. The dashboard, I had to customize it and paint it because for me to get a red dash, it would have to be right-hand drive. And we made it work. It looks amazing. I, I really love my interior. I mean, I can tell you, well, you spent, definitely spent a lot of years perfecting your perfect oh, sure. build. I can tell that. I'm very meticulous with everything, so I want it to be perfect. It, sh it shows, man. It shows. I'm going to actually come around to the other side here. Dude, this is, this is as mint as it gets <laughs> for one of these things, man. You got the little carbon fiber touches there, and wow, dude. Really, really beautiful job. A lot of times you see these and they're they're pretty beat up, you know? They are, they are. They're all miscolored or bondoed up. I try to keep it very original. 
almost like it looked when it came from factory. Yeah. You know? Just put some nice wheels on it. And that's about it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is probably one of the one of the cars here at the Invitational that was uh, definitely the underdog. Yeah, we didn't push you up against any of these crazy monsters, yeah. but I'm so happy that you brought it just so we could show the fans. And I know you made a couple solo passes. I think you mentioned that was the first time going down first the track. First time on the track on the, with this, with this car. Yep, yep. First that's time. awesome. That's a special I've moment, been, man. I'm glad we could be part of it. I've been avoiding 20 it. years. Yep, 20 years. <laughs> 20 years in the making. I've been avoiding it for a while, and my buddies kind of like talked me into it. They peer way, pressured so you. I the best it. kind of peer pressure. And I'm very happy I did it. Yeah. <laughs>
you ever race any cars with this? Like uh, street race or anything? Or? Yeah. Bit I just did a, a, Mexico uh, runs. a 5.0 Mustang. Oh yeah? He was looking down at me and laughing. Oh no. And then of course uh, we did a 40 year, a 40 mile an hour roll and I kind of left him in the dust. You, you, you got him? You show him what's up? He wasn't happy afterwards. <laughs> oh man. There's nothing better than that. You know, there's there shouldn't be any room for people looking down on other people's cars or whatever sure. it is. I mean, I can appreciate them all, but there's nothing like that feeling, right? Someone's looking down on on this for whatever for whatever reason. Right. Being a rice burner, being a four Honda. cylinder, being a Honda, right. whatever. Yeah. You gave him that sauce, huh? I did. I did. <laughs> All right. If you have a video of that, we're gonna we're gonna plug that here. Oh, I definitely just, do have. Uh, a video oh, there we that, go. For sure. Just to give just to give you some justice. <laughs> personally have a soft spot for these things uh it was like the first honda i saw that i'm like wow i was like exactly i was like wow like i mean civics were were the shit, right? right like and they still are but they were just super common and Overrated. just something about this was like a much more mature style honda yeah absolutely it's basically what the s2000 kind of did like you said s2000 came over and kind of took that the reign of that took the, the but the first time i saw one of these in this color I was just like, wow, damn. like, damn, yeah, exactly. Sure. I was actually a detailer at the dealership that I bought this from. Somebody traded it in, the girl who had it traded it in. And I was um, detailing a car and we had to always detail the cars that were traded in. And I saw it, I was like, I gotta have that car. <laughs> and then they said that they weren't selling it, they were sending it to auction for whatever reason. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm definitely gonna buy that car. So I had talked to the, the general manager at the dealership and he was like we can work something out and they got me so that was this car this car oh no way yeah. dude that's awesome i was able to finance it i think i paid like fourteen thousand for it 14 like grand that. wow talk about an appreciation because now this car is definitely worth a lot more than 14 oh, grand for sure yeah. <laughs> i think it had like thirty-two thousand miles when i bought it 